Buddy. Good boy. Hi, I'm George Cow. That was Buddy the Pup. So in this short video, I want to talk with you about um, the dichotomy in entrepreneurship between the artist and the engineer. Now, all of us have some artists within us and all of us have some engineer within us. The artist uh, path, you could say, in entrepreneurship is to stay as true as possible to their inner voice, uh, what, is, what they're being called to express in the world at this time. Uh, what song do they need to sing? You know, that's the question the artist keeps asking. On the other hand, the engineer part of us is asking, what is getting a market response? If I'm posting on social media, what is getting most shares and likes and comments? If I'm making an offering, if I'm selling something, well, which of the things I'm selling, what parts of it are getting the best response? So that's, those are kind of engineer questions. Both ways can lead to successful entrepreneurship, but it depends on what your priorities are at this time. If you need to earn money faster, you basically need a market response. That's what, you're prioritize, that's what you're prioritizing, earning money. Money comes from the market. Money comes from other people. Money doesn't come from just uh, sitting in your closet and reading affirmations and taking no action, right? So money comes from, from actually from the market. So the engineer would then be always looking, how can I engineer a response in the market? What do I need to what, what do I need to keep doing that's wor what's working that I need to keep doing? How can I emulate what others are doing that's working? And how can I stop doing the things that are not working? And those are kind of engineer type questions. And uh, the artist, on the other hand, if you don't need to make money uh, very quickly and you just need to pursue your inner voice right now, knowing that you're not going to make money for a while, that you might not, then you need to pursue the path of the artist, which is developing the skill of inner observation, the sensitivity to your calling and the sense that, well, I shouldn't say calling because calling is maybe a combination be between the two, but the sensitivity to what your um, sort of your, your, your inner passions are wanting to express, whereas the engineer develops the skill of outer observation and what the market wants. Um, uh, typically, we, we you know, entrepreneurs, uh, we need some money, and, uh, but we also don't want to lose our soul. And so we need to do some kind of balance between the two. And just one simple idea of balancing the two is, let's say you're balancing, um, you know, two days out of five, you are focused on your artist's work. You're, what, is, what are you trying to express? And three out of five working days a week, you are looking back at what you have expressed lately and what offers you've made and how can you engineer that for more market response. I mean, that's just, you can balance yourself more on the engineer side or more on the artist side spend more time on one or the other depending on what your priorities are right now. But both are valid. Uh, you just don't want to lose yourself in either one. You know, the artist who completely loses herself um, without any of the engineer uh, does not succeed in business typically because they don't, she doesn't care what the market says. You just, only in very extremely rare circumstances does the pure artist succeed financially as well. Same thing with the engineer. You don't want to lose yourself in that because the engineer who only focuses on what other people want and what the market wants tends to lose his soul. And um, so you kind of try to balance and you ask yourself, where are my priorities right now and how do I balance that? I hope that's helpful. I'm always open to your questions and your comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.